Hey, it's me. T from the Patterson. Taking the trains to the bed. A little bit somber. This uh, We're in midday right now. Yeah, it's like a... Well, let me put it this way. Let me get a little glass here. Don't worry about the condition of the glass. I don't really have anything to drink. No, I got a small glass. One of these. No, that's the tumbler glass. Oh, yeah. Less than 24 hours ago, maybe 5.15 yesterday in the afternoon, um, but I just got the word. I just got to um, make him waiting around. I got to make arrangements now. But my brother died. So here's some tequila. Somebody dies, you got to take some straight spirits with that. So let me just uh, toast to my older brother. Gregory, decent man. He's the man that most people didn't understand or appreciate. Got uh, a lot of different, uh, I don't want to say bad breaks, but you know, he, he snitches, people snitched on him a lot. And, well, he had a life, but he had he had his own life. He lived the life people want to live. But essentially, I mean, like I'm sitting here thinking about, Gregory, I mean, like, I want to say it's different. It's, 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 it's different when you have family, when, when things happen, especially when you were very young. But my brother saved my life a, a few times when I was young. Uh... And my family's kind of interesting, but more than that, and when I look at what's at this, then I look at it like uh, that's so much because we're all older, man. He's, he he just he just had his birthday, so he's, he's basically seventy three, um, um, just turned seventy three. Uh, so so he passed at seventy three. So he had a full full enough life, and the way he lived his life was like oof, like that. So anyway, so 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 I'm thinking about him. I'm thinking about everybody's losing people during this uh, during this time, this time of the virus and a bunch of other things. Of this time of uh, being squeezed by all kinds of factors. I mean, people losing jobs and and the, the government not stepping up for people, but stepping up for other people. The whole that whole thing, all the kind of strife and everything like that. You start thinking about that when you think about death. And like I said, luckily enough, I mean, it's weird because I had we had been out of. Now it's just me and my sister, my my my, my two younger sisters, uh, and uh, out of out of seven children, I, we don't. Well, it doesn't matter. So, but the thing is, um, when I look at it, I also look at this like other people lose losing losing people all the time. Uh, in this time period, it's like unfair. Is it fair? But if you have, we had a situation at least with my family where we hadn't seen my brother like you know. Uh, like f something like I'd say 45 years so like last year we we contact, connected with him so I think if you want to say the universe or the Lord or whatever it is works in the way they work that it was good that uh, these last few months you know I got to be with him see him I got a, he's, I got interviews with him on a couple on the channel I wanted to interview less, uh, a little bit more but I didn't uh, in fact last I saw him was uh, uh, last week you know, um, we had to get some stuff straight at the Social Security, and then you know we went. Well, and the last I saw him, he was he was going on. He was well, you know walking to the to a, to a New York City bus transit bus. You know, and uh, so I like to remember Gregory that way. Just just walking. Just if he has a certain gait, certain certain pace, and also just that he got the last time I saw him, he got on a transport. That's what he known for. He could drive anything. That's my brother. Had a good life, and I love you. I love you for uh, saving my life so many times, like many other people in this time get their lives saved, hopefully. Be well.